Okay, hi guys. It's me again. Let's answer some questions. Oh, I meant to do this a few days ago, but you know how things are. Okay, let's go to Patrick729. Naya, can I ask a question? If we exist, be sorry to turn this way, but I have to read it. If we exist beyond duality and contrast, who created us? If we are gods, who created us? And who created that that created us? If that makes sense. So you start this game of who created us, and then who created them, and who created them, and it keeps going on forever in your mind, doesn't it? Okay, well, the, the reason why y'all have trouble with this is you are in linear time space. And within linear time space, you can only think about things with a beginning and an end. That's how linear time space works. That's what you're taught. Your brain is only taught there's a beginning and there's an end. As a matter of fact, if you try, just stop for a minute and stop this video, and you stop and think about what infinity is. Now, you can say the word, you know what the definition is, but to honestly, seriously try to comprehend infinity, your mind will go and go and go, and at some point, it will just shut down. It can't go any further. Your mind will go, nope, that's it, can't do it. Okay? So it can't even comprehend infinity. Now, outside of this game that is based on linear time-space, you go into what I call now time. Don't know what else to call it. Now, I remember distinctly whenever I went from linear time-space into now time. I remember sitting there and looking around and going, oh, oh yeah, and realizing I was outside of a linear time space. And I remember thinking, oh yeah, now I remember. And I remember that very clearly, very, very clearly. The split second, so to speak, that I went into now time, I also remember looking back at linear time space and going, what now, how did that work again? Because when you're in one, it is very, very difficult, if not impossible, to comprehend the other and vice versa. Now, when you're visiting, the reason why I bring this up, and it, it plays into the question in a way, the reason why I bring this up is you guys are wanting to talk to your higher self. And most of the time, this higher self that you're talking to wanting to communicate, that aspect of yourself that you really want to talk to is outside of the game, okay? Connected to you, it is you, but it's an aspect of you that is outside of the game, and it is in now time. It is not in linear time space. It is now time, and this is what I find there's a lot of disconnect with people trying to talk to higher selves or even gods or uh, gods that are outside of, they're not really gods, beings that are outside the game. If you're trying to talk to any being that is outside the, the, the game, well, we're all gods over there, so there are gods, but if I say gods and you're talking to them, you guys immediately go to a higher being that's better than you, and it's not like that. So we're just going to go with if you're trying to talk to a being that's outside of the game, then it becomes a little tricky because they are in now time. And like I said, when you're in now time, very difficult to comprehend linear time space. And when you're in linear time space, very difficult to comprehend now time. Okay? So if y'all want me to talk about, or maybe I'll do another video. Well, remind me. If I don't get to it, remind me to do a video on... Um, Linear time, space, now time, and you talking to your higher selves, okay? But because of this concept, this concept of linear time, space, there must be a beginning, there must be an end, then this is what confuses humans. And they get into this, well, who created us? Nobody created you. You have always been, and you will always be. Now, when you're in linear time, space, 
that's like comprehending infinity. Because if I tell you you've always been, that is infinity. And you always will be, that's infinity. And I just told you that in your brain, your human brain that you're using, you cannot comprehend infinity. So therefore, you push it into what you're used to, what you've been taught. And that, that, that is, there's a beginning and an end to all things. Well, there's a beginning and an end to all things when they're in linear time space. But when you're outside of linear time space, absolutely in now time, there is no beginning and there's no end in for a lot of beings, a lot of things. Uh, for instance, the all that is. Even you as you know it, the concept of you as a separate entity, you may t tweak it and turn it, but no more than you would, say, in your life. There's a lot of difference between you as a five-year-old and you as a 15-year-old or a 25-year-old. There's a lot of difference between that. It's still you, but it's a different form of you. Okay, in the all that is, and the you that has always been, there are differences just like there's a five-year-old you in human form and a 15-year-old you. So it does change. That you that is you changes in now time, even though there's no such thing as time. Um, it's very difficult for me to have a conversation on now time because there's nothing f to relay. I have no way to make an analogy for you because it is so different than here. I can continuously say that when you're in now time, you know everything, it's no big deal. Uh, you know that you've always been and you always will be and there's not this question about where did I come from. You understand about merging with source and pulling a little bit away from source. It's a matter of focus. Really, in now time, it's a matter of focus. Where in linear time space, it's a matter of time, really, and beliefs that you've been taught in. You believe that you are born as a baby, you grow up, you become old, and you die. That's, that's what you believe. Even on a very subconscious, deep level, you've, been, you've seen this your whole life. Um, I know it's not true. I know there's no such thing as aging, but I'm aging. I'm not five years old, so clearly it's really, really deep involved in this linear time space of there being a beginning and end. That has also been a problem with um, my videos and probably one of the reasons why my channel doesn't blow up like a lot of people's is that I don't have a a course that you can take where you can start where you are and I can walk you through to enlightenment and there's that's happened over and over again there are so many people there's still a lot of people out there that will teach that you can you can have this book and you can take these steps and you can do these things and you can become enlightened in my way of thinking, what I'm telling you is completely different than that. What I'm telling you is, um, I'm not going to judge what you're going to be doing. You may not, and by enlightened, enlightened makes it sound like it's something better. Uh -huh, something You're going to go to something better. You're going to be something better. You will have done a better job by becoming enlightened. I don't use the term enlightened, although it is accurate. Because the word enlightened means an in light on the inside. Now, when you raise vibration, the vibration is faster. And that faster vibration will look to human eyes like light. You will be full of more light, literally more light. You look in light tent. However, it's not that you're smarter and better and you've gotten more knowledge and you are, are moving up in vibration. I guarantee you that is not the case. You are a God. You know all things. You always have known all things. You have chosen to forget them 
temporarily in order to play the game for whatever reason you are playing the game, for whatever experience you are here for, okay? But you already know everything. So basically, <clears throat> if it's time for you to leave the game, you can do that by dying, which people don't like to talk about, or you can raise your vibration, go to a different perspective, a different dimension of this planet, and it, it, it's a different life on that dimension. It's not nearly as much contrast. There's far less contrast in the fifth dimension. It is just a higher vibration that the planet is on where it matches closer, not even close to the real thing, but it's closer to outside the game. It's, so therefore, we beings, we God beings, are more comfortable in the fifth dimension uh, than we are in the third and the fourth dimension because of the contrast. Now, I'm not going to get in the way of somebody in their game because I don't know what your game is. Now, if you want to set an appointment with me and we can do a session and I can certainly find out what your game is, um, if you want to, I can give you the options of what your timelines are. I can tell you where you are right this second. I can coach you, so to speak, into choosing timelines to get a certain way if you're heading a different way. Um, yeah, I can do that, and I would do that. But as a general rule, I'm not going to make a blanket statement because everybody's game is built different. Every single one of us is built different. different. And I don't know what that is, and I'm not going to make a general statement for 7 billion, billion humans on the planet when there's so many different games going on. So many. Uh, because you've got walk-ins, you've got... Um, You've got sharing. Uh, you've got sharing of bodies. You've got people spending very little of their energy or playing an NBC role on certain timelines. You've got people that are going deeply into the density, so they're getting as much as they can before they leave this particular part of the game. You've got people that are raising very high. You've got people that have every intention of staying in the fourth dimension. A lot of people will be staying in the fourth dimension. Fourth dimension is a huge dimension, and it is full of all kinds of experiences. And I've told you all that before. So there will be a lot of people that do that. I am much more interested in trying to get you all to understand that you're gods, again. That's more what I'm interested in. If you can remember even a little bit of your god status, then it'll be easier for you to take control of your, your game experience. And I would like for you to do that. Now, ultimately, um, you came in and are hearing my videos for a reason. They'll either make you really, really mad, and you'll leave them, and you'll go with veracity onto the other part of the game you're playing, or you'll stick with me, watch my other videos, and there'll be a reason for that. And uh, really, I started them to talk to somebody, and I went through a lot, and there was a lot of aloneness in how I felt, and I wanted to reach out and do videos for people that were feeling like I did so that I could explain to you that you're not alone and you're not crazy. But ultimately, I want you to play into your games. It will make it easier. You'll have an easier time of it if you will move towards happier and happier. Not happy yet, although we're getting darn close to happy. There are moments now that you can be truly happy on this planet. Big, huge influx of energy this last week, guys really really big influx of energy and it feels wonderful if you can tap into it okay I'm digressing as usual so the answer to the question is nobody created you 
it's simply that you're in linear time space and you think that that's the way it needs to be but that's just because you're in linear time space in a game that's using linear time space in now time you have always been and you will always be nobody created you nobody created the creator that created you um, okay I will tell you this and I've tried to explain to you in the previous videos how big this game is and you are sitting on a planet and you think this planet is big and you the reason why I know that is because if I told you okay I want you to go visit every town on this planet and I'd like for you to do it in the next year that would be overwhelming to you because it's a big planet from the perspective of you in a car or you in a plane or you and getting the money to do it <laughs> it's a big planet right and this planet is a part of a solar system and that solar system seems big to you if, if you got in one of our spaceships it would take a long time to go to the other planets so it's a big place and that solar system is in a galaxy that's even bigger and that galaxy is in amongst the stars amongst galaxy galaxy many 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 galaxies and that is just what you can see with your eyes as a human or the machines that you've created as a human and there's much much more to it than that much much more and that is a drop in the bucket compared to what happens when you leave this this is just one game all of that is everything I described is just third and fourth dimension what you can see and there's a lot more dimensions than that that you can't see and it's much bigger than that much 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 bigger bigger than you can imagine and all of that is a drop in the bucket it's just one game when you leave and go to the other side you see all the games that are available that's just one game now you're a part of the all that is and, and when you step on the other side you're gonna know everything about everything in our all that is but our all that is <laughs> is a part of a bigger all that is so in other words you're a part of the all that is that is the same as you you physical skin suit you being a part of an all that is so it isn't a matter of you being created by something else it's it's a matter of you being able to perceive how big we are and how much there is to know that's called the all that is I don't know of anybody who when they've died gone and has seen and remembers as much as I did and I know that there was much much more that I could have gone and seen that I could have gone and merged into but instead of it being linear like you think start to finish it's more like Russian nesting dolls it's more like that if that makes sense all right okay well let's see if that helped at all I hope it did uh, Patrick and Cindy we'll see if not ask it again in a different way and I'll answer it a different way all right huge hugs guys and I want to say thank you to my supporters I appreciate you so much you have no idea how important that is so thank you patreon thank you paypal and thank you those that have sessions with me it really is a joy to meet each and every one of you and uh, i can't wait to meet any more of you in the future all right so thank you so much i love you bunches huge hugs and i'll see you later bye now